My name is David Andre and here's how to build anything with V0. So what even is V0? It's a new AI tool that can build amazing user interfaces from plain English. It was created by Vercel, the company behind Next.js, which means that V0 always knows the latest and best web development practices. So in this video, I'll show you how to build $10,000 web apps using V0. Now let's get to building. Here's the plan. First, we're going to use V0 Prompter. This is a custom GPT I designed and you can find it in the new society in our templates and presets section. Now what this GPT does is that it creates a seven prompt structure optimized for V0. So all you have to do is describe your idea such as I want to build a polymarket clone focused on the AI field and it will write super optimized prompts specifically for V0 with the latest UI practices and you can just copy paste them into V0. So let's do that. Let's take the first prompt which is going to be always the foundation and the big picture and just paste that into V0. By the way, this is what it actually looks like. V0 is super clean. On the left, you have the chat. On the right, you have the UI. It first starts by doing some internal thinking, which is basically like analyzing the user's prompt and how to best approach it. And then it switches the UI into the left part and into the right part. The left is just the text, right? Very similar to Bold or Cursor. All the other tools work the same, right? But what V0 stands out is the Next.js practices. It's built on top of Shad C and UI, which is another web development components framework. Basically, to put it into plain English, it is the best AI model for designing websites by far. And it is improving faster than any other model. Like if you follow V0 on Twitter, which you should, they're releasing like every single day a new update, which is just crazy, right? So, okay, this is what our website looks after one prompt, guys one prompt okay so none of these buttons work which is expected we need to make sure the graphs are there okay let's copy the second prompt actually we can probably refine this so so i pasted in the updated first prompt and v0 is working on it as you can see it's also creates its own structure so it used to be just one file which you know was not optimal fitting 500 lines of code into a single file but now you can see the file structure. So it tries to split things into components, into different manageable parts that you can build upon, okay? So, all right, GPT-5 release, AI regulation, AGI breakthrough. So obviously these charts are fake right now, but the website is really starting to take shape. On different like zoom-ins, the graph goes outside of the bounding box, which you can easily point out, right? So say, make sure the graphs do not go outside of the bounding box. And you can actually take a screenshot and put it into V0 so that it sees what's the issue. This is also a good practice. Like make sure to give it the context, the necessary context, right? V0 prompter will create a general outline for you so that you don't have to be a professional prompt engineer to, you know, write these prompts. A lot of people make the mistake of not giving enough context or giving it too much context and then confusing the tool. So that's why I built this GPT because it guarantees that you get the most out of it, okay? Okay, so this actually didn't fix it. So let's try to use another V0 tool, which is this select, okay? We can select this bounding box and say, this box needs to be within the white background. It cannot go outside of it. Make sure its width is updated accordingly, okay? While that's being fixed, we can probably check this off. By the way, if you're wondering what tool is this, this is actually my own AI tool that I'm currently developing. So if you want to be one of the first people to get access, make sure to sign up to the waitlist below. It's completely free. All right, let's go back. So it did fix the issue. There could be a little padding, but that's not the biggest problem right now. The way you should approach it is that start with big picture things, okay? Start with the design, the colors, how you want your website to look like, the main UI, the layout. Start with the big picture things and then go down more into details, more and more gradual. Now you might be thinking like, okay, David, but that's kind of annoying to think about, right? Like you have to think about what if I'm being too granular, if I'm being too grand. That's exactly why I built V0 prompter. Like this custom GPT will do that for you. It knows everything about V0 and how to prompt it properly. So again, you can find it inside of templates and presets in the useful GPTs right next to all of my pre-built automations, AI agents, checklists, all of my code, which by the way, will include the code from this video as well. So if you want to access to all of this, make sure to join the new society. It's the first link in the description. All right, let's go back into V0. Seems like it got stuck, which sometimes happens. You can just click on the try and that should fix it. Now, what's great about V0 is that all of this code you can take with you. Like you can put it into VS Code, Cursor, anywhere else you want. Also, you can use it to design a prototype for a client. So let's say you're selling a you know, front-end services to somebody and you need a quick prototype within 20, 30 minutes. With V0, you can easily build that and show like you're serious. You will sell so many more clients that way rather than just promising it, right? So once you're happy with the code, you can just click on add to code base and V0 will give you a link that uses Shad C and UI. So every time V0 finishes coding, you can click on add to code base and take it into cursor, which is how I'm developing my startup, by the way. I always put it into cursor and 
all of like this UI, by the way, this UI for my own app, my own startup was made in V0 in about one day, right? So as you can see, this is like pretty functional app. Like there's everything you might need in a productivity application, right? With the chat box, with the uh, different UI elements, with completed tasks, creating new tasks, different models. Obviously it's still not perfect, but I've made it in a few hours. Like this was made with V0. So the reason I'm so confident talking about V0 is because I'm using it myself. I'm using it to build my own app, my own startup. And I know what it can do. And I know how fast it's getting better. Like just following the V0 company account on Twitter, you will see how fast they're shipping. Okay. So anyways, this is our app. We have the different prediction markets. Okay. This is much better than the first version, to be honest. And we're only like two prompts deep. So let's go into prompt number three. And again, you don't have to think about the prompt structure. Like that's the purpose of the custom GPT, right? All of you, you should build custom GPTs or cloud projects for the common things you're using AI for. I know that even if you are using ChatGPT, which, you know, it's still better than most people, most people still are using AI tools, most of you are still repeating the same prompts, you're just typing the same things, and you don't have custom GPTs for those actions. That is a huge mistake and it's a huge waste of time, so build custom GPTs as a side note. You can start using V0 for free. Obviously, you can, there is a certain limit, because, you know, running API tokens, running AI models is not free. So, there will be a point, like, after, I don't know, 30, 40 prompts, that you hit a limit, and you are forced to upgrade or you can just wait until the limit resets. But I would highly recommend paying for as many AI tools as you can afford because they give you so much leverage. Like it's hard to imagine. The more AI tools you use, the faster you are at using them, the better you know which tools to use, the better prompts you write so you get more out of them. It's just a compounding vehicle. So if you are not paying for AI tools, start paying for them. I myself, I pay for stuff all the time, even if I barely use it, simply because it is the future. Okay, seems like we got some weird error. Uh, obviously, V0 is able to fix this, but I'm curious what will happen. Server side error. Okay, let's copy this. It's still running though. Seems like it's still running. It says stop. All right, so, okay, I'm actually gonna paste it in and I'm also gonna take a screenshot just so it sees like the layout I see it. All I can see is this error. Explain what causes it and fix it. In the meantime, I'm gonna prepare my prompt for which is the individual market page. Again, you start with the grand layout, right? With the main layout of your app, where everything should be, what color schemes and fonts you want to use, the big picture, and you slowly go gradual, gradual, gradual until you're customizing each element. Now, you have to be careful, right? Because V0 is optimized for frontend, meaning the user interface. Some things should be developed in backend, right? For the backend, I would use cursor because in cursor, you can go way more into detail. Since it is built on top of VS Code, a lot of programmers will find it very easy to use. Like, it's a full development environment with way more features than V0 has to offer. But I would still encourage you to use Cursor for the backend, even if you aren't a programmer. And actually, I have a really, really deep tutorial in the new society on this. In the advanced AI tutorials, there's like a 50-minute plus advanced Cursor guide, which is designed for non-programmers to help you get the most out of cursor. So again, if you want to access to that, make sure to join the new society. It's the first link in the description. It's going to be linked below the video. Okay, seems like V0 is really struggling with these errors. Uh, luckily, we have this simple button fixed with V0. So let's send that. And I actually think this is a very interesting look into the future of work. Humans will be like the managers or CEOs. You, as the person, you will be in charge of the idea, right? You will present the idea, you will have the vision, and AI models and AI agents will work for you and do the coding, just like V0 does right now. I could go myself and, you know, try to look for an error. It would take me like 20, 30 minutes probably because I'm not a front-end developer. I'm actually a complete noob when it comes to front-end, okay? I can still design amazing clean user interfaces because of tools like V0, okay? So the error was fixed. It fixed it itself. And let's see. Okay, so we don't have the data. Obviously, data is fake. This is where backend would come in. So this is why you need backend, right? Backend is for the functionality. Frontend is for the design, for the user interface. So if you don't want your data to be fake, you need to build out a backend and then call your own API. But honestly, that's way beyond the scope of this video. Okay, so let's see. Individual market page. Explore markets. Okay, so one thing that it would be cool is if we could click on the graphs and see a more detailed version of it. So make sure I can click on each of the graphs on the main page and see a more detailed version with some other stats, such as the number of dollars bet on this market. Design a custom model for this model. Model, I don't know what to pronounce it. I'm not a front-end developer. Yeah, I don't know the pronunciation. Use the same design principles as the rest of our app. So 
you just describe how you want your app to be. It's literally that simple. As long as you can type in English, you can build anything. I'm being completely serious. And I can say this because I've done it with my own startup. Like this was built with V0 in a few hours. So I know how to do it. I've done it. And that's why I'm confident that you, no matter how beginner you are, no matter if you've never written your code, it doesn't matter. If you, if you know nothing about HTML, CSS, you don't have to. With V0, you can build a website. All that has to do is a little bit of like action taking. If you can push through the slightest of discomfort, if you can challenge yourself to learn new things, you know, if you have the least amount of work ethic imaginable, you will be able to be so much successful. Like there is this concept, the smart gets smarter from Balaji Srinivas. It's like the rich get richer, right? Everybody understands that. Like the rich invest in assets, they get richer, poor people, if you know, uh, month to month, so they get poorer. The people who use AI tools will get more and more done in the coming years, while the people who don't will fall more and more behind because their jobs will be automated and they will do nothing. They'll, with that extra time, they'll watch Netflix and TV, while us, hopefully, you watching as well, will use AI tools to build stuff that otherwise we could not build before. So make sure you're in the category of the people that get smarter and get more ahead with AI than the people who fall more and more behind. All right, so one thing I don't like is this like top part. I would just get rid of it. I would say copy. Get rid of this top part completely. I want our site to look more like poly market. So if you don't know, poly market is a prediction market essentially. And actually for this, I probably should have used the select, select feature. Like you can select an element and then talk into V0 about it. By the way, this feature didn't even exist like two weeks ago. So that's how fast AI is progressing. Like I'm, I'm being completely serious when I say all of us will have custom software. Like there'll be a point where I don't really like using Discord. I don't really like using Google Calendar or whatever. You will just build your own software in 30 minutes and that's it. Like all of us will have custom software. And I think the sooner you realize this, the sooner you start taking it seriously and building something. Whether that's an AI startup, whether that's, a, you know, just a tool for yourself and your friends, whether that's something you will use internally in your company or that you sell to clients, do not sleep on this. Start building custom software and use tools like V0 because they might very well change your life.